episode of Ask Yuri, and today I want to continue our conversation about fish oil because uh, I've been asked a lot of questions on Facebook about this, and specifically a lot of questions have been raising, have been raised about the difference between fish oil and krill oil, which is better. There's a lot of information out there. People are confused, and if you're one of them, I want to hopefully make a bit of, uh, uh, bring a bit of peace of mind and clarity to you in this video. So first of all, fish oil is awesome, as we've talked about, very, very high in EPA and DHA. And before we uh, go any further, what is the recommended daily amounts uh, for fish oil, like omega-3s in general, and EPA and DHA, because those are the ultimate byproducts your body wants. Uh, we're looking at, again, the American Heart Association is recommending the benefits from a cardiovascular perspective kick in at about 2,000 milligrams of EPA and DHA per day. Okay, so if you're looking for fish oil, uh, you may you want to make sure that there's a good levels of both EPA and DHA. Otherwise, you're really not getting too much benefit. Also, from an omega-3 perspective, just total omega-3s, if you're looking on the food label, you want to be looking for about 2.4 grams over the course of a day. So depending on which fish oil you use, personally the one I use, which I can tell you all about in my fish oil report, uh, I take about two tablespoons a day and that gives me pretty much all the omega-3s I need, which includes the EPA and DHA requirements that I just mentioned. Now with that said, is krill oil better than fish oil? Well, again, there's a lot of stuff out there. As you know, manufacturers for krill oil will say that it's better because it contains something called astaxanthin, which is an antioxidant, pretty much. Okay, so astaxanthin—I know it's, it's kind of a little tongue twister—is the it's a carotenoid. It's a pigment that makes salmon red. It's uh, when you cook lobster or shellfish, that's what turns them kind of reddish. So that's the, that's that's that carotenoid astaxanthin, and in krill. It's about, there's about uh, 20 times more astaxanthin in krill oil uh, or krill itself, which is kind of like a little of the bottom feeders of the, of the seafood chain uh, versus salmon as an example. Okay, so if you're, having, if you're using krill oil, there's this higher amount of astaxanthin, which is an antioxidant, and that's very, very nice because antioxidants are really important for our health. But is that enough? Is that, is that enough to say that krill oil is they like you know far by you know by by any stretch you know without a shadow of a doubt is better than fish oil it's really tough it really depends which fish oil you're comparing it to and understand that there can be synthetic versions or sources of astaxanthin that are not actually coming from the real food source so there's a lot of really tricky things to consider and for the average consumer you really can't make any sense of this because you look at a food label or an ingredient list and you're just like okay sure i guess that looks all right or some people don't even look at the ingredient list and they just grab a fish oil that's recommended to them or that they saw on TV or a friend recommended and so forth. So krill oil, uh, the main difference is that it contains higher amounts of astaxanthin. Uh, some studies have shown that the, its omega-3s are a little bit easier to assimilate into the body, so absorb into the body, versus some, some fish oils. But again, it really depends on which fish oils have been compared to that because as I've mentioned, there are different types of fish oils. We have esterified esters, triglycerides, uh, re, um, there's about three different forms of, of molecules that come about by the processing of fish oil. So unless you know which fish oil contains which one, there are very, very different absorption rates in the human body. So that's again why I talk a lot about this stuff in my fish oil report, which I highly recommend you grab a copy of if you haven't already. Um, again, it's, it's just top quality information that really is very tough to find online. So uh, again, coming back to our main question, krill versus fish oil, I don't think that there's a definitive answer to which one is better. I think if you use either one, the key is looking for a good quality one either way, so whether it's a krill or a fish oil, just make sure it's high quality as much as possible and whether you're using krill or whether you're using fish oil, you're still going to benefit tremendously. Okay, It's not to say that fish oil is terrible, krill is amazing, or krill is terrible, fish oil is amazing. Either one is fine. And if you really want to get the best benefits from all, they just rotate through. So maybe one month you use krill oil, the next you use your fish oil, and just rotate every month so you get the benefits of both. Okay, So that's my advice on fish oil versus krill oil. Either one is going to contain good amounts of omega-3 fatty acids, which your body ultimately needs. Krill oil contains slightly or greater amounts of astaxanthin, which is an antioxidant. But again, you can get antioxidants by eating a clean whole foods diet anyways. So if that's the only reason you're considering krill oil, 
then maybe that's not the best reason. But the other thing to consider with krill oil is that krill has actually been banned from being fished. Okay, so the, the you know the U.S. has actually banned the farming of krill uh, because they're a very very important crustacean in the food supply within the ocean. Okay, so that's another thing to consider is that you know where are we getting our krill from now? Where are we getting our krill oil? So. End of the day, it's up to you, but um, I personally have never used krill oil. There's really not that much of an impetus for me to switch from the amazing fish oil that I currently use to finding a krill oil that is sustainable and suitable as a replacement for what I'm using. So hopefully that helps you out. If you want more clarity on this topic, again, grab my fish oil report. Uh, it's the unbiased guide to choosing the best omega-3 supplement for you. And I guarantee it'll give you a lot of clarity and peace of mind. You can grab it at the URL, which is below this video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.